Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure your own automated crypto trading strategy utilizing three of my top four indicators that I use when trading crypto like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the other altcoins that I trade. Now the platform I will be using is Mudrex. Now if you're not familiar with Mudrex, it is a platform that allows you to build your own crypto trading strategies and deploy those strategies on your own exchange. You don't actually send your funds to Mudrex, your funds stay on your exchange and you connect your exchange to the Mudrex platform via API keys. So your funds are as secure as they can be when being held on an exchange. Now you can actually get started with Mudrex for free and you can actually deploy an unlimited number of automated crypto bots with their free basic plan. So I will leave a link to Mudrex in the description down below. If you use my link, you'll actually get a free $25 sign up bonus and you could actually use that $25 to upgrade to the premium plan. And if you do upgrade to the premium plan, you'll also get one month free. And in my opinion, the premium plan feature of unlimited backtesting is well worth the $16 a month ask for that plan. Now that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get to configuring the actual strategy. So if you're new to Moodrex, the first thing you would want to do is connect your exchange to the platform and you just simply click on connect exchange, add API key, select your exchange from the list of available exchanges, give it a name, click next. And from there, Moodrex will guide you through how to connect your exchange to their platform. And so we don't actually have to do a deep dive in this video on how to connect your exchange. You just need to follow the simple tutorial provided by Moodrex. Now that you have your exchange connected to the Moodrex platform, you're ready to build your strategy. So you come over to the menu bar, click on build. And today we'll be using the visual editor to create our strategy. So we click on visual editor and now we're ready to start adding the blocks to create our strategy. And there are a variety of blocks you can choose from, from indicator to compare, trend, patterns, price. But today we will be using the indicator block and a couple of the compare blocks. Now, as I mentioned earlier, today's strategy will utilize three indicators. And before we dive into configuring those indicators, it is recommended when selecting indicators, you choose three different types of indicators. And those three different types of indicators are volatility, momentum, and trend based indicators. And for today's strategy, we will be using the RSI indicator for momentum, Bollinger Bands for volatility, and we'll be using the EMA moving average for trend confirmation. So with that all being said, let's get to actually configuring these blocks. The first block we will configure will be the indicator block, and we will be looking at the RSI or the relative strength index for our first indicator block. And so the parameter we need to configure the period is going to be nine periods. That's the look back time for this actual indicator. It will basically look back nine candles to calculate its results. Next is compare and we'll have the RSI greater than or equal to the value of 40. And then the advanced parameters, we need to select a moving average and we will be utilizing the EMA for our moving average. And so we click OK and we'll jump over to the chart real quick. If you're curious what that actually would look like on the chart and at the bottom of my chart, you'll see my RSI indicator and the RSI indicator measures overbought or oversold conditions by oscillating between the 100 level and the zero level. 80 is typically considered overbought in the world of crypto and 20 is often considered oversold. And my strategy will utilize the RSI as a momentum indicator. And so what I'm looking for is the RSI to be above 40, which re is represented by this yellow line running through the RSI indicator. And typically what I see is when the RSI moves back above the 40, it tends to have momentum up or even when it bounces off the 40, you see that momentum moving up in my direction. And so that's how I'll be utilizing the RSI in today's strategy. 
The next block we will configure will be a compare block and I will be comparing price to Bollinger Bands and I will be comparing the close price greater than the lower band of the Bollinger Bands. And then my parameters will be a period of 10. Again, looking back 10 candles. And the advanced parameters will be a standard deviation of two. And the moving average type will be the WMA or the weighted moving average. And give that a click OK. Jump back over to the chart. And the two yellow lines you see running through the candlestick chart are my upper and lower bands of my Bollinger Band indicator. And what I'm actually looking for confirmation from is the close price to be above this lower band. And as long as the close price is above this lower band, we are a go for a buy order. Now the third and final indicator will be EMA and that will also be a compare block. And so I wanna compare price to EMA, which is the exponential moving average. And I want the close price crossing up through the EMA. And then my parameters will be the EMA period of nine. So it will be calculating its moving average on the past nine candles. And then I don't need to configure any advanced parameters. So I click OK. And again, we'll jump back over here to the chart. And so on the chart, the purple line is representing my nine EMA. And in this case, we see the price action close above the nine EMA, along with being above the lower band and above the RSI 40 level. This would trigger a buy order. And since all three blocks are actually required, I need to come over to the blocks and drag over the and block and connect it over to the buy block. And then I want to connect all my blocks to the and block. And so all three are now required to trigger that buy order. Now we're ready to configure the buy side of this strategy and the buy side will be a compare block as well. And I can just drag and drop a new block. But in this case, my buy Bollinger Bands block is very similar to the sell block. So I just click on duplicate, drag that over, connect it to the sell block. And for the sell compare block, I'm looking to compare the close price crossing down through the upper band. And I'm still looking at the 10 period, the two deviation and the WMA. Click OK and we'll jump back over to the chart one more time. And what that would look like, we entered on this candle because we had the cross above the EMA, above the lower band and the 40 level RSI. And so then when the price action exits the upper band and so the strategy will wait until the price action crosses down through the upper band and closes below that upper band. It, and as you can see, we entered down here and closed up here for a decent profit. That is what I'm looking for out of this strategy. So now that I have all my blocks configured, I can also configure a stop loss and a take profit. In this case, the take profit percentage I will shoot for will be 18%. It will be a trailing take profit, meaning that once it hits 18%, it can actually give back 3% before it actually exits the position or for instance if the price goes up to 24 percent it can come back three percent to 21 percent and at that point it would take profit and so at this point i'm going to give the strategy a quick back test so i need to actually name the strategy in this case it'll be ema x rsi x bb for bollinger bands and now i'm ready for the back test so i give back test a click and I'm going to look at the Binance US exchange. The market will be USDT. That will be my quote currency. And then my base currency will be BTC on the four hour time frame. And we'll click start back test. 
and the results are positive, it looks like we'd have monthly average returns of 11%. Now I can click on the actions box to get a little more details on these results. And as you can see over about a year and a half time frame, the strategy would have produced overall returns of 457%. However, the market returns had I just bought and held would have outperformed this strategy. So let's jump back over to the back test and we'll give ETH a shot. And in this case, I'm going to jump down to the 15 minute time frame for ETH. Click start back test. And the ETH back test results are actually a little better than the Bitcoin back test results. So we'll click on actions. And we can see during that year and a half time frame, our overall returns would have been almost a thousand percent. However, we still are not outperforming the market returns had we just bought and held. So given current market conditions, we're actually looking like we might be headed into alt season. So I am going to select an altcoin that I'm actually very bullish on, and that would be VET. And I'm going to give that a back test on a 15 minute time frame. And so those results come back almost double what we achieved with the Ethereum back test. So let's take a look at the actions for VET. Now for that same year and a half time frame, our overall returns would have been 5,000% and market returns would have been almost 4,000%. And so our strategy would have outperformed the buy and hold crowd by almost 1200%. So rather than the year and a half time frame, let's see how the strategy would perform on a shorter time frame of three months. We'll adjust our fees to the actual 075 that I pay for my fees on Binance. And we'll click recalculate. And so the three month performance, which would be more representative of the current market we're in, the overall returns would have been almost 700% during that three month time frame, And the market returns would have been very similar. However, you will see we do just outperform the market. And considering that VET has gone pretty much parabolic recently, that is pretty impressive to be able to at least keep up, if not actually slightly outperform the buy and hold strategy. Now let's dive into these results a little deeper. Now our monthly average returns would be almost 80%. The performance score, which is the score that Mudrex rates your strategy, anything between five to seven is average and we hit the high end of that average at seven. The max drawdown is actually pretty high at 46%. Now the total trades for that three month period is 21. So you're only seeing about seven trades a month. So if you're an action junkie, this might not be the strategy for you. Now my sharp ratio is five. And in reality, anything over one is considered acceptable. Anything over two is considered good. And I actually try to shoot for three or better. And we are exceeding that. The profit factor for the strategy is almost four. And basically you get your profit factor by dividing your gross profit by your gross loss. And so again, anything over one is acceptable. Anything over two is considered good. And again, if I can shoot for three or higher, I feel like I'm winning the battle. And then we can jump over to winning streak of seven, a losing streak of one. The trades one is actually really high. It's almost 81%. So you're not seeing a whole lot of losses with this strategy. Now my largest winning trade was almost 23%. However, on the flip side, my largest losing trade was almost 23%. That's not exactly what I would want to see. If I jump over to average profit on win versus my average loss, this is how I come up with my risk versus reward ratio. I typically shoot for a one to two risk versus reward. I prefer a one to three, but in this case, we're right on the edge of a one to two risk versus reward ratio. Now, if we scroll down, we can actually see the trades during the three month period. And for the most part, we have larger wins with smaller losses. We have far more wins, obviously, than losses. And we really just have this one big loss that actually happened back around April 17th. And that is when the 
entire market corrected with a 20 to 30 percent sell-off so this one loss is really the exception to the performance of this overall strategy and so in the end i think over the long haul this strategy would be winning the battle and so before i deploy this bot to live fire i actually need to configure a stop loss and in reality i'm still working on that so at this point in time i'm not actually ready to deploy the bot what i encourage you to do now is i showed you how to configure the bot and these videos are exactly that they're how to configure not how to copy my strategies so that pretty much wraps up this video for now. I will be doing an update video in the future for this strategy. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that updated video. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop those in the comment section down below. I will drop a link to Mudrex in the description down below. And in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.